Welcome to The Things I Wish I Knew, the official YouTube channel and podcast. Today's life lesson is send yourself a love letter. As you can tell, it's finally February, and if you're looking at your calendar, you will notice that Valentine's Day is slowly approaching, yet at the same time, it's quickly approaching. And if you're single, I'm sure it's on your mind, given that everywhere you go, there are markers to remind you that Valentine's Day is indeed on its way. If you're in a relationship, there is a ton of pressure on you. I'm sure you're deciding what to do for your significant other. Should you take them out for dinner? Should you cook for them? Whatever you decide to do, I know some of you right now are feeling quite stressed. I will say that it's really important to celebrate love. We should celebrate love throughout the year. It's really important that you show the person that you're with that you love them. And Valentine's Day definitely shouldn't be the only day, I think, Now more than ever, we need to tell the ones that we love, that we love them, and show them through kindness and love. One thing I want you to keep in mind when you're thinking about what to do for Valentine's Day, just keep in mind, it doesn't have to be material. For example, you can do something beautiful with them at home, helping them out. You can cook a dinner for them. You can simply be there and listen. Valentine's Day isn't just about showing the one that you're with in a relationship love, also your friends and family. Love is an energy exchange. And once you understand that it's an exchange of energy that you are giving to someone else and they're giving back to you, you will look at it in a little bit more of a quality and genuine way. But I don't want to take away from those who love Valentine's Day and they're getting excited to celebrate. I know I love Valentine's Day. I love the flowers and the cakes and the chocolates. And so if I'm dating somebody and they're into it, I'm going to get into it. The whole point is you need to have fun with it. A few years ago, I was dating this guy and he wasn't exactly into Valentine's Day. And I remember experiencing it with him thinking, okay, cool, no big deal. Fortunately, I've experienced great moments during that time of year and with other people that I had dated or been in a relationship with, so I wasn't exactly heartbroken. But then I thought about it. What if he was seeing somebody else and perhaps that person had never experienced Valentine's Day and they were finally in a relationship and this is what they got? It would suck, wouldn't it? The reality is in life, you can't make people do what they're not comfortable with or what they're not into. For example, you might want to spend time with your family every weekend. They might not like your family. Or you might want to go out to the club and they simply want to stay home and watch Netflix or do yoga. Yes, compatibility is very important, but you're not going to be completely on the same page when you're in a relationship. I will say that chemistry and compatibility should be in alignment, meaning that you may have a lot of chemistry, but if the compatibility is not there in terms of goals, morals, values, how you want to live your life, you will find yourself having a lot of conflict within your relationship. But there's one thing I want you to do, whether you are single or coupled, and that is send yourself a love letter. It's something that I think everybody should do. You should send yourself a love letter once a year. You can send yourself a love letter every few years. Or what you can do is get a journal and send yourself love notes every day or throughout the year. So when I say send yourself a love letter, what I mean is you are going to use your own handwriting if this is something that you can do. No texting. This is going to be old school, pick up a piece of paper and a pen, or you can buy beautiful stationery. The whole point is you're going to write yourself a meaningful letter that you can mail to yourself and it's going to be something very significant. You can mail it from home or actually a really good idea is to go to a different city or if you're in a different country and take this letter with you and drop it in a mailbox. You're going to send yourself this love letter and the day you receive it, it will be a very meaningful day. Perhaps a day when you're not having a really good day or when you just need a little boost or pick me up. It will be the perfect day just when you need it. With this letter, it's going to do, it's going to remind you how wonderful you are and all the things that you deserve where love is concerned. 
Before you can truly embrace love or the love of anyone else, you have to work on self-love. You have to love yourself. You have to think that you are enough. You have to believe that you are worthy of love. And that comes from within. A lot of people think that I will be happy when I meet this person. So I'm going to wait until then. Or when I meet the so-called one, I'm going to be happy and they are going to change my life. But this doesn't happen, does it? You have to ask yourself, am I going to change their world? And if you're miserable, if you're not happy, if you don't value yourself, if you can't find love within, then how can you add value to someone else's life? We must start with ourselves. I think writing it down and visualizing and imagining the kind of love that you want to give yourself is the first step. When you can put this on paper, you create a vision board. You create a love vision board that you can manifest. This is the type of love you want to manifest in your life. When most people think of vision boards, they think of something that's external, something beyond themselves, something outside of themselves. And that's a different kind of vision board. The love vision board, it's about the type of love if you are watching yourself as a viewer and you are watching yourself go through life and how you treat yourself. The type of people you surround yourself with, the conversations you have within yourself, about yourself, what would you think? As a viewer, would you say, I really want you to love yourself, I really want you to give yourself more, I really want you to believe in yourself, I really want you to get up and go and get the things you want. As a viewer, you would say, I want you to believe that you are beautiful, strong, powerful, and brilliant. So this love letter is that affirmation of love that you are going to send yourself and you are going to write it. It can be one page, 10 pages, 20 pages. Make it as long as you want to make it. There are no rules. You are going to put together this letter and if you're single on Valentine's Day and you are feeling a little blue, this is the perfect way to motivate yourself to get out of the house to put this letter in the mailbox. This is also a great way exercise to do if you're in a relationship. Are you happy in your relationship? Is this the right partnership for you? Send yourself a love letter and as you write it, you will begin to reveal things that you may not be receiving from yourself and in turn in the relationship you are currently in. If you're traveling around the world and you're listening to this, mail it from Bali, London, Africa, wherever you are in the world, write yourself a love letter and mail it. I love getting mail. I love getting a Christmas card or a note from a friend. This time, the letter is from you. And it kind of seems silly. I know you're thinking, well, I'm going to know it's from me. That doesn't matter. The whole point is you are going to take some time out and do something that's very meaningful for yourself. If you'd like, you can put a Starbucks card in there or you can put a gift card to a place you've been meaning to go. It doesn't matter. Whatever you'd like to include, include this in your love letter. The day you get it, when you open it, sit down, take a moment to yourself, then read it. A letter from your past self telling you all the things that are amazing about you and all the things that are possible for you in this life. The reason why I want you to write yourself a love letter is that I want you to have something that you can look to, to remind you of your self-worth and value, that value you see within yourself. Put it in the mailbox and forget about it. Depending on where you live, the letter might arrive quite quickly. This doesn't matter. The whole concept is that we're taking ourselves from the past and when you receive it, it's going to be the future. So your past self just sent you a letter to remind you that you are worthy of love. And what you can do with this letter is frame it or staple it to your vision board. But keep it somewhere when you're having a bad day, you can just open it up, read it and remind yourself that, wow, this is how I see myself and this is the kind of love that I feel I deserve. You can read it before bed. You can read it as your love mantra. This is something for you from you. No matter what is happening throughout the week, 
throughout the month, throughout the year, you can always go back to this place of self-love and say, you know what? I'm worthy of all the things I wrote in this letter. And no matter what's happening in my life or how people treat me, this is a reminder, this letter I mailed to myself, that I put into the universe, into the cosmos, that I am love and I deserve love. And nothing is going to get in the way of me receiving that divine love that I have been blessed with from the moment I was born. Never forget that. Some of you are wondering, where do I start? I bet you're wondering, what should I put in this love letter? I'm going to help you with the framework. What to put in this letter, and then hopefully you can go from there and add whatever you feel works for you. Here are a few things I think you should put in this love letter. The first thing you should put in this love letter is five things you like about yourself. I know this might be an interesting thing because some of you are thinking, well, I don't like a lot of things about myself, but it doesn't have to be physical things, your appearance. It could be character traits. Perhaps you like your eyes. That's a physical thing. Or you think you have a cool sense of humor. You're a good listener or you have a big heart. So five things you really like about yourself that you want the world to see. The second thing is give thanks to every inch of your body. I know this is tricky since I just said you might not like a lot of things about your body, but in the love letter, you love everything about your body from your toes to the top of your head. Show gratitude to all the things you don't like. Look at your stretch marks and say, I love you. Thank you for showing me growth. Look at your scars and say, I am a survivor. Look at your blemishes and say thank you. Thank you for revealing what must be healed. Tell your body that you value and respect it. The third thing you're going to do is you are going to say thank you. Thank you. I am still here. I can't wait to show the world. You have to fill this in. What do you want to show the world? From here, keep on writing. Fill this letter with all the love you have within you and all the love you want the world to see. The last thing you will write once you've completed this letter, and I want you to write this down at the end, this is what you, are, you will say to yourself, I want you to know that you deserve the best kind of love from yourself and the people in your life. I am love, I am light, I am magic. Thank you for listening to the things I wish I knew. I can't wait for you to send yourself a love letter. Thank you for listening to the Things I Wish I Knew podcast. If you like this podcast, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for your weekly life lessons. If you'd like to read more life lessons or more on this life lesson today, please go to thethingsiwishiknew.com.